Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here for Scrapbook Boutique and using this Bunny Love set from Alter New to make a really clean and simple quilted baby card. But we'll get to the quilting in just a minute. First, I want to actually cut my sentiment stamp apart. It says Welcome Spring and that really, to me, it just limits how often I can sort of use this stamp. I could actually selective um, ink it, but I thought it'd be a really good sentiment just to use the Welcome on its own for a baby card and I'm more likely to use it more often if it's cut apart and I can easily put it back together if I want to. I've got some cool graphite ink this is from Ranger it's a dye ink and I'm stamping it it's on um it's a pale blue piece of cardstock it's cut to the same size as my card front and I'm just popping that sentiment on an angle and you'll see why I'm actually stamping that out first in a minute. I am going to create my little bunny image now and I'm going to be doing some Copic colouring so I want to use a Copic friendly ink and I know that memento inks are really good for Copic pens so and they're not going to harm my markers and that's why I've used the cool graphite here. I just didn't want to use black um, I use a lot of blank ink for my stamping and colouring so I just thought this would be nice and soft and gentle for a baby card really simple Copic colouring here today with minimal shading and then I can just um, I just fussy cut this out after I didn't include this in the video and leaving a really small white border. The other thing I did do was actually add some Prismacolor grey pencil to the eyes of the bunny rabbit just to make them pop a little bit more as well. So now it's on to the quilted part. I have um, one of the next level embossing folders. It's from We Are Memory Keepers and you get two different patterns in each packet. And these are awesome embossing folders. They have so much dimension to them. And that's pretty much why I had to stamp my sentiment first. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get a nice crisp image. And I like the grid lines too because I can make sure that my paper's nice and straight. And I do use a different sandwich on my Big Shot, so it's tab 2 with the base plate. And then I don't actually use any other plate, I just actually use the embossing folder itself with the card panel, piece of cardstock inside it. And then I can just run that through. I don't feel a lot of resistance at all when I'm doing this. It's like when you're normally embossing, it's quite easy to do. So if you do feel any resistance on your Big Shot or... Um, die cutter die cutting machine then um, just remember not to force it because you might break your machine I'm just using my ATG gun to adhe adhere this to the top of my card front and it's the embossing folder isn't quite long enough for an Australian size A6 card so I did just cut the bottom off that card and finally I'm adding some dimension to my little bunny which I fussy cut out leaving a small border and popping it up on the front of my card just above my sentiment and that's my card pretty much finished for today. Thanks for joining me I'll be back again real soon till next time happy paper crafting bye